Hello engineers, welcome to the part 2 section of our electrical load schedule and estimation design. Today we'll be using this question as a practical study. A residential project has the following electrical installations. 30 lighting points, 15 single and double receptacles, 5 split ACs, a cooker control unit and four storage water eaters and an outlet in kitchen that is making five. We are to determine the connected load of the building, the service cable to be used and the building protection details. We are having 30 lighting points and I've explained in our former class that the maximum number of lighting fixtures recommended in a circuit is 24 so we can just divide our lighting point into two so these are 30 lighting points we can divide it into 15 15 so come to our load schedule created here the first is lighting point number of points in a circuit so let's say 15 15 enter the Second parameter is that we are having 15 single and double receptacles. Let's follow the jurisdiction that accepts looping a single and double receptacles together. Since we are having 2000 VA, 2000 voltage ampere in a line, 2000 voltage ampere divided by 180 voltage ampere. This implies we'll be having a maximum of 11 receptacles in a circuit. Let's just divide it by 2 to balance our circuit. So we'll be having 7 and 8 for our receptacles. Before I proceed, in our last class I explained what load per point means. I said for lighting fittings is 100. 100 300 300 and load per point is always being measured in what you can call it in what or you give it va we'll be using what amperage protective device here majorly 10 ampere 10 ampere because we've not exceeded the normal limit had it been we've exceeded that normal limit we may probably be using 20 ampere circuit breakers or more. So let's say, and for this one is 30, 30. For our cable size, 2.5 mm. 2.5. Okay. So we'll be using 1.5, 1.5. We are less concerned about the voltage drop in this sense 2.5 2.5 our question still continue that we're having five split ac and i explained ac do takes their own line which is 20 ampere breaker 20 20 and the cable size is 4 4 mm 4.0 4.0 why the load per point is 2000 VA which is the maximum we can have for any kind of single phase AC and we'll be having number of point one one the question still continue that we're having a cooker control unit cooker control unit sometimes it depends on the amperage of the cooker to be used. But let's just assume a 45 ampere circuit breaker. We'll be having 6 mm as our breaker. And we'll be having 2000. Here too. Likewise, 1. Here. Our question still continues that we're having 4 storage water heater and an outlet in kitchen. The number of slots we are having in this distribution panel is 12 and we still need 5 slots more. 
we'll be adding three to this our slot making our distribution board to be a five-way distribution board so i'm copying this i pressed ctrl copy insert copied cell so i'm still pressing this escape now now i'm pressing this copy and start copied cell so from 10 11 12 now i'm having my slot 13 a slot number 14 a and slot number 15 a i'll be having a 13 a 14 and a 15 for car control unit majorly is 20 ampere will be enough or 32 ampere 32 ampere breaker we are having 5 1 2 3 4 5 32 ampere with a cable of 4 mm 2000 So based on this small schedule we've created, you observe that our circuits are scattered for the lighting, for lighting point. So you can just increase this one. Likewise, and it has scattered for receptacle outlet. another receptacle these five are ac right so we're having five ac which is a mechanical load but let's write ac for simplicity and we still have a car control unit which is a receptacle And storage water heater, which are also receptacle. We're having five, right? Based on this, we observe that these are our small projects are scattered for the lighting load, the receptacles, we are, but we are not having any low power system in this our project. We've gotten a mechanical equipment load, which is the AC. We are not having any conveyance system either an escalator elevator or any of the system here but it remains the future growth which must be 10 percent of the total connected load but the best way i would rather recommend is to create another set of slots which you can just call it spare or the future so let's now create another three set of slots here so i'm copying this I'm copying this. Copy. So when I'm pasting it, and start copy itself. So I'm having 15, 16, 17, 18. So instead of having anything here, I can just leave it. But let's name it spare or you call it future. So these are covered for our future growth. 